Hey guys, Nerona here, and you should be so excited for this all new Summit X with Expert Package, and I'm gonna take you through it right now. Overall, 14 changes that make this thing quicker, faster, more agile, side hill better. All those things are true in the brand new Summit X with Expert Package. As you can see, it looks amazing in this color, also uh, in a red and white. I actually love this color. I'm usually more of a colorful guy, but this is gonna look wicked with an SCS wrap on it for sure. So this is the 154. The 154 comes with a 146 tunnel, and the 165, which I'm gonna ride, which most people should choose because it's so much quicker, that 65 acts like a 154. The 165 will come with a 154 tunnel. It also, uh, so what this does is, uh, your tunnel actually, when it's in really deep snow, acts kind of like a rudder because it sinks right down to the snow and then holds you back. It also makes turning a lot bigger challenge. And until you ride it, you can't believe the difference. So it doesn't get hung up when, you, this thing will easily, we, if you wheelie, it, it'll wheelie right over backwards. So it's amazing how much uh, this uh, shorter tunnel makes in a difference. It also comes with the low snow flap, so all that snow just evacuates out of here and allows the sled to move faster through, uh, through the snow. With this low snow flap, the biggest question is, will it cool? So I've been using the um, removable snow flap for many years now. What I notice is you run about two to three bars warmer going down the trail if it's not super powdery. So you're gonna wanna run your scratchers down all the time. I literally put my scratchers down at the beginning of the day and I usually never put them up. I go up my deck with them uh, down and I go off my deck the next day with them down and I just put them down and, and forget it. You're gonna have to do that and it, in some cases you're going to have to manage that um, when you're going down the trail depending on, on the con snow conditions and how long you're riding it. But that's what we pay for for an expert package that's built for going into drainages and trees and absolutely slays that kind of stuff. So it comes in the three inch only in the 154 and the 165, those two sizes as well only. Moving along up here, it now comes with the Carl Cooster seat. This is one inch lower, one inch narrower, and two inches uh, shorter. It, once you use it, you won't go back. I have this on both my sleds this year. It's an absolute gem from Carl Cooster himself. Moving up here to the extruded running boards, up here in previous years, they were stamped at the front. That is not no longer for 2020. They're extruded right up to the front. So better grip and more snow evacuation. So an awesome move there from Skidoo. You're also gonna get the limiter strap adjust down here on the tunnel to go strong. It'll come set up as stock and then you can actually suck that limiter strap up. It'll be by two on the front. So in that 154, you're really wanna, gonna wanna do that when you hit all the big hills. So very cool that you can now do that. Up here on the, uh, on, on the controls for the sled, a 4.7 inch riser, which I use, or 120 mils. It also has in the bars here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but right here, the bar goes narrower by two mils. So you get actually a better, a, a narrower bar, better control, better grip, because it's a little bit smaller. Also comes with the flexible hand guards, which are a gem to have, especially on those cold days. And they were totally flexible, so if you roll the sled or through the trees, protection, and they're not gonna break off. New mountain strap is now lower. I personally do a lot of sled skiing and snowboarding, um, so I, I was kind of worried that the low um, grab bar would be actually um, too low, but it's actually one hand, because this is how you're, you're tandeming, it actually feels better than the, than the old mountain strap. This is gonna be a good upgrade for those guys who have an eight, 17, 18, or uh, 19, so very cool there. And as we move, uh, down towards the front, probably the biggest change other than the tunnel is the front end here. <clears throat> so what we've done is we actually have a lighter spindle that stood up a little bit and a stronger ski stop and a little bit, a uh, cha few changes in the skis. So what this does is everybody thinks that if you get washout on your summit that it's the T motion, but that, remember that only moves two degrees and it really only helps with roll up. What has happened in the past is when you're side hilling and you hit something hard, your ski moves up. When your ski moves up, you basically stop the snowmobile. And when that happens, the back end has nowhere to go. And because you're side hilling, of course the back end's gonna go downhill. With the new uh, setup here with the spindle and the ski stop and the ski, 
the ski actually stays flat. So it's more pre predictable and precise. And because it's moving, the back end doesn't have time to wash out because you're moving forward. So that eliminates that, uh, that issue that some guys have. So very, very cool and it makes a huge difference. This sled moves so quickly and is so predictable side hailing. It comes with an all new shock package. So these are Kashima coated up front here with a lightweight swing this spring. This lightweight spring is basically as light as titanium, which is how we lose some of the five pounds. Um, and it's all recalibrated, so a little bit stiffer. It has a, a new center shock as well, stiffer uh, calibration, and then a piggyback on the back that has uh, compression damping. So very, very cool. Overall, 14 changes, five pounds are lost. So this thing is gonna be a mountain killer. For those guys who like getting into tight drainages, um, through the trees, and just really being aggressive, it will literally pivot on the back end and turn. You're gonna see a lot more uh, of those types of things from riders who couldn't do them in the past. So very, very cool and an awesome job from Skidoo. Again, you can add some of these. I think the biggest changes are for guys that have 19s and 18s, you can add the spindles, the ski stop, um, pretty much everything um, except the boards um, and, and the tunnel. Um, but you can make your, uh, your previous model summit really up to date with some of these changes. And it's gonna happen once people start riding them and realize how quick and fast this package is. And this lies right in between the Summit X and the free ride. So for the cost uh, of it, this is a no-brainer. It is an amazing job from Scooby and what they've done.